all right so how's it going everybody hope you're all doing well and great and today we're looking at a comparison between the ryzen 5 5600x and the i5 12400f also in this video when it comes to the comparison we're not looking at benchmarks in detail you know we're more focused towards the value for money because these cpus pretty much both provide the same performance in gaming and video editing and whatever you're actually gonna do with any of these cpus now let me tell you my experience with the ryzen 5 5600x i own this cpu and this is one of my favorite cpus and the best investment that i've ever done you know i can play any game at 240 frames per second i'm not bottleneck by my cpu you know video editing is one of the coolest things ever you know it's very cool actually it's very fast you know snappy and uh when it comes to anything else pretty much it doesn't disappoint when i'm recording my gameplay i don't feel any fps hitting so it's an overkill cpu uh, when it comes to the things that i do which is video editing and light gaming the only complaint that i have and i don't know if a lot of people have the same complaint is that the temperatures can go very high when the cpu is 99 percent or something like it can go all the way up to 78 to 80 degrees now you can lower down the temperatures by doing the undervolting, and this is something that i will try in the future but how about comparing it with, actually with the i5 12400f there is actually two ways to compare it or two routes to compare it there is the budget route and this is where you don't need to over prey on the motherboard you want to have the cheapest board you can get your hands on and you're not that focused on the future proofing of the pc you know you just want a really good gaming pc right now and you, you want to put the most uh, in the performance so that's the first route the second route is if you want this pc to be future proof where it means you have to kind of spend more on the higher end motherboard so the budget route when we compare the ryzen 5 5600x uh, with a combo board which is in this case an a520m board it can go for around 280 dollars you don't need to do any bias updates if you were to get it from amazon pretty much all these amd boards right now are rising fifth gen ready where on the other side the 12400f goes for around 180 dollars the retail price of the 12400f is 160 but i have never seen it go for that price and the cheapest board I've seen went for around $85 but the cheapest one right now goes for $110 and this is a B660M board. So this will put you at around the same price of the Ryzen board, maybe 290 95 something like that. So it's only a $10 difference and as I said the performance is pretty much the same. So basically everything is pretty much nearly identical maybe if you were to go with a b660 m board with intel you'll have more ram slots you'll have pcie gen 4 but what about the upgrade path with these budget boards well let me tell you the a520m dash ace2h you can upgrade all the way up to a 5900x but this is kind of like an overpriced way or like a not the best you know upgrade pass because the 5900x is gonna right now is an old cpu let me tell you that so i guess the more realistic approach is going with the 5800x and it goes for 350 bucks right now which is crazy expensive if you were to get it for 250 to 280 dollars i guess this is a more realistic price but yeah it doesn't justify it i think it's kind of overpriced and it's not worth it to upgrade to a cpu like that for that price in the future you know but if you are to go with intel on the other hand you can upgrade to a 12600k for example which is an identical cpu to a ryzen 5800x and it's pretty much cheaper like a lot cheaper it goes for 265 dollars or something it doesn't have a cpu cooler you can add that or you can go with an i7 12700 and this is a cpu that not a lot of people talk about but it's one of the best value for money intel cpus the 700 non-k version intel cpus usually have really good value for money and overall the 12700 is a better cpu than the 5800x and it's actually cheaper and it comes with the cpu cooler but it's not a fair comparison because intel is newer than amd when amd releases their next gen ryzen cpus i guess these options will be obsolete in terms of value for money but still will be there and when it comes to the future proof if you were to go with the future proof route you were to go with the high-end board next to the cpu it goes for intel you know the, the 12700k 12900k all these cpus are very good cpus are far more better than what amd has to offer in terms of performance video editing gaming performance and for a very competitive price so i guess you cannot you know complain about that you cannot go with amd so yeah intel takes up 
the cake for pretty much everything value for money you know future proofing features pricing it's a very good option right now to go for the only reason i'd recommend you to go with the ryzen 5 5600x is that you have an amd ryzen based system and you want to upgrade so hey that's been it guys if you like the video press on that like button if you want to see more videos of that kind let me know and uh, what's your opinion about this one see you in the next one and peace